Hey everybody, it's Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to talk to you about this item that I'm hanging in. Don't know how well you can see that. But it's a hammock. Um, I've always been a tent or a tarp user, never a hammock so far. Um, but recently I came across a really sweet deal for this uh, hammock. It's not a big name brand hammock. It's actually made by a company called Grand Trunk. Um, new, you can get them for about 20 bucks, uh, minus the suspension system. Um, but anyway, I found one of these for a uh, for a pretty great price on uh, whiteblaze.net in the selling thread. So I figured, you know, what the heck? I'll go ahead and pick up one and see how I like it. So I've got it. Uh, I've got it hanging out here on my porch. Uh, it took me a little bit to get used to getting in this thing. Um, but anyway, before I get real involved with everything. I want to start at the beginning to kind of show you where all this started. So hang on a second, here we go. Okay, so we'll take it from the top here. Um, as you can see, I have the hammock separated uh, or packed separately from the hanging kit. And actually, if you go to the Grand Trunk site, you have to buy these as separate pieces. Um, the ultralight hammock, uh, I want to say it's around 20 bucks, and the hanging kit, I want to say maybe 15 bucks, something like that. Um, and then however much shipping cost, I'm not sure. I was lucky enough to find somebody selling these on White Blaze uh, for 30 bucks for the both of them shipped, so I quickly jumped on that. Um, and to be honest with you, um, really what's drew my attention to uh, this hammock in particular is a, a, I don't know, about a week or two ago, uh, if you read the Jolly Green Giants post, um, lightweight and ultra lightweight backpacking, um, he actually made a post and he was talking about how um, this hammock was one of his um, secret weapons. I can't remember exactly how he put it. But anyway, uh, so whenever he was talking about it, it really drew my attention. And what really drew my attention was the light, or the, uh, the fairly lightweight and the super great price of only 20 bucks. But anyway, um, as far as weight, on my scales, the hammock itself weighs 11.6 ounces, and the hanging system weighs 7.9 ounces, which gives it a combined weight of 19.5 ounces. Um, so depending on how you look at it, um, it could be heavy or light. Um, one way I'm looking at it right now is it's 19.5 ounces for the system, plus actually if I was going to use it as a shelter, I would actually have to still carry along a tarp, so the tarp would be added in. So it would be uh, at least two pounds probably with what I have. Um, but anyway, enough about that. Now I will say one thing, uh, once I get a little bit figured out, I would like to try and swap these, uh, this hanging system um, with something a little bit lighter. I don't mind if I have to tie my own knots, but I don't know enough about hammocks in general at this point in order to um, to actually uh, know what to get. So I don't want to run off and buy a bunch of whoopee slings or adjustable ridge lines or whatever because to be quite honest, all I know about those things is what I just told you. They're adjustable ridge lines and whoopee slings. <laughs> That's all I know. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these out and I just want to show you real quick uh, how to hang the, t the hammock um, with the suspension system that comes with it. So uh, let me just add to keep in mind um, this is the first time that I've ever hung it. I did take it out of the uh, sacks and play with it a while ago when it came in the mail but I haven't actually hung it up yet so I'm going to show you that as I go. So uh, hang on just a second. Okay I'll just go ahead and unpack this real quick and show you what's in here and what this consists of. Now just so you know it does have uh, directions printed on the back if uh, you need to read them um, and basically it says to wrap the rope around a sturdy object and it shows a picture poke the end of the rope through the loop and I'll show you that in a minute pull it to tight to lock it in place and I'll show you that and then attach the hook and the hook is actually attached to the hammock and I'll show you that when I get the hammock out but attach the hook in the desired knot setting so let me just kind of quickly show you what's in here this is the first thing I noticed is how big this is um, that's quite bulky that's one thing I don't like and one reason I would like to get something smaller um, to replace this system with um, but it's super bulky um, so anyway I'll just have to see how that goes but let me separate them there is two of them here and basically 
it's got what they call a tree sling see that there a tree sling and it's just a section of uh, nylon and the cord is actually run through it now this is some pretty thick cord it's probably like five millimeter thick cord so it's really thick and according to the uh, to the thing here it says that it has a max weight of 400 pounds so basically all you do is you would wrap this part around the tree the uh, the nylon part around the tree and you want that because it'll protect the tree it won't cut into the tree um, you wrap it around the tree and then like I said you can see it's got knots tied into it it's at uh, at intervals and that's to kind of adjust the uh, hammock but basically once you wrap it around all you do is take the end with the knots run it through the other end and you cinch it tight uh, and that may look kind of confusing here so I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, up on the pole where I'm gonna be doing it. Now, I'm gonna hang this from uh, two big poles on my um, on my porch I don't really have any trees close enough in my yard to do this so you'll just have to uh, you know work with me here um, and like I say this is my first time so hang on just a second here we go okay so first off what we have to do is make believe this is a tree it's really not a tree just in case you're wondering but we have to think like it is now like I say it's got this big black section and that's the part that you want wrapped around and then one section it has uh, the end of the cord that's just looped and this section will go as long as you want it's actually a sleeve that runs through there so you can make that as, as long or as narrow or long or short as you want. So you wrap it around the tree and then you pull the cord through and you cinch it tight. Now that's not going to lock down. That's not going to lock down just because you're just pulling it through. But if you'll pull on it, it'll kind of hold it in place just a little bit. And this nylon helps kind of hold on to it a little bit too. Now if this were a tree, it would have bark on it and that would help kind of hold uh, hold it in place um, a little bit. Now I will say one thing, uh, reading through some of uh, the threads and stuff over on hammock forums, um, I read in one spot, I want to say, where it said that a good idea is to go and pretty much about as tall as you can reach is how high up you want to uh, tie off your straps. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm not sure if I made that up in my head, um, but that's what I'm going to go by this time. So anyway, uh, that's hanging up. I'm going to go over there and do the other one, and then in a minute I'll pull out the uh, hammock, and I'll show you how that works. Now. Okay, so here's the hammock, um, and I'll just show you opening it up. Now first off, this stuff sack that it's in, it's actually a pocket that hangs on the side uh, of the hammock, so it gives you a little space to, uh, to put things if you have anything. And it's got simply got a tag that says ultralight because that's what model it is. It's the ultralight version. And then it's got the grand trunk emblem uh, little patch on the front. Uh, it's just a cord lock uh, is how you cinch it closed. And it seems to be made of the same material that the hammock is. Um, I'm not really sure what the hammock material is. I haven't really put a whole lot of uh, investigation into it or anything. But anyway, it all pulls out. And then at each end basically it has this big s hook and that is what you hook into the knots um, on each end of the suspension system now this is another reason that i would like to uh, figure out a different way of doing it um, because this is actually one of the heaviest parts of the system is this s buckle here so like i say i'm going to put a little more thought into it and uh, see what i would like to have uh, but anyway that's for another video but anyway so this is the hammock I don't know how much of that you can see in the video. But now what I'll do is I'll put this back a little bit and I'll show you me hanging the hammock. So hang on a second. Okay. So now all I simply do is I just take the little S hooks that are on each end of the hammock and I just connect them at one of the lengths uh, where the knot is. Just put them through. Simple as that. Take the other side. Put it in. Simple as that. And there it is. It's hung. Now I don't know if uh, I don't know if these have a head or a foot in. Not really sure. I'll have to do a little more research in that. As well as I don't know if there's a top end and a bottom end on these things. Um, not really sure about that. There's nothing that necessarily marks it. So uh, so I'm not really sure about that. The only thing I can think of that would matter is if you continually use the hammock. Um, you would probably unless. It was, and as a matter of fact, uh, specified 
you would probably want to use a head in each time. That way, if you put your dirty feet or something like that in it, you won't be putting your head where your dirty feet or something was. That's about the only thing that I can think of that I would need to know as far as differentiating a head or a foot in. So anyway, uh, you saw how simple that was to hang up. Now the next thing to do is to climb over in it. And this is probably going to be fun. Uh, first off, I'm going to be fun trying to trust this thing holding up my weight. I'm a hefty 200 pounds. And there's a concrete floor um, right beneath me. And actually, there's an edge there. So if I fall, uh, it'll probably be a little, a little bad. So here I go. Let's see. I hear it creaking. It's holding me up so far. I guess that's it. Um, okay, well, uh, the only other thing for me to really do is try to figure out uh, how to move around in this thing without getting flipped out. Um, so uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video. Uh, I don't know how long I'll be fooling around in this thing trying to make sure I don't fall out. But I appreciate you for watching. If you have any questions, just post them below, and I probably won't be able to answer them as far as hammocks are concerned, but I'll definitely do my best, or at least point you in a direction that can answer your questions. And until then, I appreciate you for watching. I'm going to kick back for just a minute, relax, and uh, then try to get out of this thing without flipping out. Until next time, see you later.